Whether you're a hobbyist looking to try out art, or a novice artist experimenting with different mediums, one should know how to use the tools necessary to put onto said activities. This is the case with digital art, as one would require a drawing program to fully realize their creations from the ground up. I'm Fausto from Drawing with Digits, and I'll be introducing you to the basic tools used by many art programs. In this tutorial, we'll review some of the standard tools between three different art programs. Microsoft Paint, a default image editor installed on all Windows PCs. Fire Alpaca, a free software with animation capabilities. And Clip Studio, a paid professional program with plugin support. As with any art program, the first thing you will have to do is to create a canvas to work on. With Paint, the program opens a blank canvas from the get-go, allowing you to change its size with the Resize tool. As for the other two programs, they prompt you to choose a resolution before you begin. The number of pixels, in this case, 1920 by 1080 determine how smooth an image may display on your screen. This video, for example, is the same exact resolution, and will display perfectly if viewed on an HD monitor. If your monitor is smaller, media will scale down to fit, but will otherwise contain similar content. You can also open other previously accessed images on these programs, allowing you to edit them directly, or save project files, which save all the separate layers of your composite image. More on that later. These art programs contain an assortment of tools at your disposal, and while I won't be going over every single process your program can perform, I will show the tools that remain inconsistent with most art programs. Your primary tool of choice will be the brush, otherwise referred to as a pen or pencil depending on the program, but the functionality is the same. Whenever you click on your canvas with this tool, a stroke will start and proceed to follow your cursor until you unclick. Some programs may have preset brushes, such as crayons, markers, or pixel pens, and they also include the options to change the size of the brush, the pressure and tilt sensitivity of the brush, the functionality derived from tablet pens, and the texture of the brush. Other tools that are commonly included are erasers, a fill tool, allowing the user to fill a closed area, selection tools ranging from rectangular selection to a separate magic wand acting similarly to the fill tool but with selection, shape tools, text, eyedroppers, used for selecting color from a pixel, and other types of filters and objects. Cut, copy, and paste functions are usable and transferable between programs, and transforming tools are usually included into programs as well. Some programs even contain layers, which could be viewed as separate image files or combined as one composite image. If possible, please review your program's manual as to learn more about your tools and options. Once you're done creating your work, or have come to a stopping point, you will want to save your work in a desired file format. While some programs may include an autosave function, your files will be more safe if directly saved to your drive. The standard command for saving an image is by pressing Ctrl and S, either saving right to the file or prompting to save a new file. When giving this prompt, you can save the project as different file types, with PNG being the highest quality of image type, JPEG is a size efficient file type, or bitmap, the lowest quality image. Some programs can even export animated GIF or PNG files, such as Fire Alpaca and Clip Studio. If you want to preserve all your layers, however, you will have to save your work as a project file, with some programs having a dedicated file type that can only be read by that program. In these instances, Fire Alpaca can open MDP files, Clip Studio can open Clip files, and both can open PSD files, a standard project file used by Photoshop. Once saved, you can continue your progress at another time, or share files directly with other users. This tutorial is not meant to be comprehensive by any means, and is meant as a way for users to spot tools that allow them to create their works. Programs not included, such as Medibang, Photoshop, GIMP, Aggie.io, and others will utilize similar tools than the ones introduced here, so experiment with whatever you see fit within your budget. Seek out more programs or stick with the ones introduced, and just have fun creating anything you set your heart out to do. The limit is within your hands, from pen to pixel. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below if you wish to see more like it. As for me, I'll continue to work on Drawing with Digits, a blog which can be accessed at any time from fjb65.ruckers.com hyphen sci dot domains thank you for watching